I'd say this, uh, it's not the easiest tensioner in the world uh, to get it in the right spot. So you've just got to slowly sort of, uh, you know, you need to use your tensioner spanner almost as a counter hold in a way. Uh, once you've uh, put the tension into the belt, measured it with the feeler gauges, you then need to start uh, doing up the tensioner bolt. But as you do that, there is actually a tendency for the tensioner to tighten even further. So you need to sort of hold it back uh, with the tensioner spanner. Um, if you find that when you've finished this process, you've actually over tightened the belt, meaning that, uh, that this is a very loose fit between the pointers, uh, what you need to do is slacken the bolt off. Um, holding the, the tensioner with the spanner and wind it all the way back to zero and re-tension the, uh, sorry, restart the tensioning procedure. You can't simply uh, wind it backwards in order to uh, adjust it. You must start again. The um, tightening torque for the tensioner bolt is 20 newton meters. check there that there's no obvious slack anywhere in the belt and that it's uh, seated nicely which I think it has. Once the belt's tensioned and you're happy with that uh, what you need to do is go underneath the car and check the crank is still on its TDC mark the forces that you're applying to tension the belt are very unlikely to have moved the crank, but it's just best to be uh, doubly sure. Uh, after you've done that, what you want to do is just check that that uh, locking plate, for want of a better term, on the end of the camshaft uh, slips in and out easily, which it still should. And then you need to go ahead and tighten this screw uh, to 100 newton meters uh, using the counter hold. Uh, you can't rely on the the belt to hold that and must use the tool. Okay, so the cam and uh, crank are both still where they should be. Uh, to use this tool, you want to insert in those two parts of the tool into the sprocket as you counter hold and then tightening it up with your torque wrench. Uh, I should say that's an um, 18 millimeter socket and the, the setting is 100 newton meters. Okay, that's uh, that's the main timing belt installed. Hey, uh, next we're going to move on to the real fun, which is going to get the um, harmonic balancer back in place. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is going to go ahead and reinstall the lower outer uh, timing belt cover. There's um, three little bolts. Um, with a um, 10 mil socket for them, um, they need to be thread locked and torqued. I'm going to go with 10 newton meters. I'm not 100% uh, sure if there's 
official recommendation on that, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, goes goes down that way into the engine. That's the uh, lowermost bolt. Uh, not that there should be a problem, or that there is in this case. It's just important to note as you as you start putting the front cover back on, just you know keep an eye that there is. Uh, a reasonable clearance between the covers and the the belt because uh, you don't want it uh, rubbing against the cover in service there's not any history of that on this engine so far as I know but uh, I have heard of it in other instances where either things weren't quite designed right or you know there's common installation errors and you end up with the uh, belt rubbing slowly against the timing cover and actually shredding itself so next we need to go and uh, reinstall the balancer uh, this is the back of it if you notice there's four screw holes there of course the center bolt there's also that little uh, extra hole uh, that fits over a small protrusion on the uh, inner uh, sorry, inner timing belt sprocket so this can actually only fit one way uh, if you look at it from this side uh, that there is going to be roughly somewhere around about the seven eight o'clock position so uh, in order to avoid the, the problems I had removing this well at least in theory what I'm going to do is put a little bit of silicon grease on the mating surfaces on the back here fingers crossed that will uh, prevent the problems I had earlier It'd be important to use uh, silicon grease or some other form of rubber compatible grease uh, in case some of this grease should uh, work its way out and come into contact with the timing belt
once you've got those five bolts in as tight as you can by hand what you need to do is make some sort of a reference mark uh, with tip X or something similar uh, down here on the balancer uh, sorry, both on, on the balancer and a mark on the car so you can turn the engine and line the marks back up. What I'm going to do now is take out that um, locking plate out of the camshaft. What I need to do now is, um, so this is pretty much standard procedure for installing the timing belt, is to wind the engine over twice and check the marks still line up. If you overshoot after the second revolution and end up, you know, two and a quarter, two and a half, what you need to do is go round, uh, not just a third time, but a fourth time. Uh, it's important to go an even number of times so that, um, I should say that if you go in, um, an odd number of times, you'll end up with the injection pump half a turnout. Okay, I'm just going to try this bar at this point. It might not fit because that mark's not as accurate as the marks underneath. It does actually slide in and out nice and easy. Um, what I need to do next is uh, go underneath and double check that the uh, crank is on TDC. Been underneath the car and check the uh, position of the crankshaft. It was almost on TDC, uh, just use a screwdriver on the teeth in the flywheel there to bring it exactly in line. Uh, came back up top, I've checked the bar in the uh, camshaft again, that goes in and out, no problems. Uh, so what we need to do now is um, tighten the bolts that secure the, uh, well, the, the four bolts that secure the harmonic balancer to the inner timing belt sprocket and uh, I should say that's the second task. Firstly, is to tighten the centre bolt in the harmonic balancer. Uh, now, that bolt is uh, legendarily tight, and uh, you need this uh, Volvo tool that I showed you in a previous video uh, in order to get that done uh, correctly and safely. About two thirds of the way down uh, between the camshaft sprocket and the water pump is this sort of uh, plastic protrusion that inside. The, it's a uh, bolt, I've already loosened it off, uh, not quite enough for it to come out, let me just uh, double check this now, it's, I think it's an 8mm Allen, which it is, there we go. Then install the counter hole tool. 